Ruski Ed here with a lesson covering the four cardinal directions. Try to translate these sample sentences during the intro song. Ruski Ed is here, and in case it's not completely clear, to learn to read in Russian you must know lots of Russian words and where they go. Of course, the four cardinal directions are east, west, north, and south. In Russian, that would be Vostok, Zapad, Sevir, and Yug. These are good words to know, especially when traveling. And so let's get straight to the sample sentences, beginning with sample sentence number one, which goes a little something like this. It means the polar lights commence to glow. The word of interest here is a form of sferkats, and sferkats means to sparkle, to glitter, or to shine. Interestingly, sometimes the polar lights, or the aurora borealis, may be referred to as the northern lights, or severnoi sianii. Also, zasverkats is the equivalent of nachat sferkats, and so severnoi sianii nachalo sferkats. It means the northern lights commence to glow. Next we have sample sentence two. Kladbishi bulo ka severo ot serkvi. It means the cemetery was north of the church. The word of interest here is kladbishi, and kladbishi means cemetery or graveyard. By the way, sirkaf bula ka yugu ot kladbisha. It means the church was south of the cemetery. The third sample sentence is as follows. Sneg skopilsia na severnoi storoni vershini. It means snow has accumulated on the north face of the peak. The focus word here is a form of the word vershina, and vershina means peak or summit. Moving along, we have sentence number four. Vastachni sklon gori kroci zapadnovo. It means the eastern slope of the mountain is steeper than the western slope. Here the word of interest is sklon, and sklon means slope, as in the slope of a mountain. By the way, kroci is the comparative form of the adjective krotoi. And finally, we have sample sentence five. Sansa klonitsia ka zapadu. It means the sun goes west. The word of interest here is a form of the verb klonitsia, and klonitsia means to be nearing or to be inclining towards, as well as a few other possibilities. And now, for a few bonus sentences. Etaf du kilometra ka zapadu at siuda. And etaf du kilometra na zapad. Both mean it is two kilometers west of here. Na severi zimwi halanai means winters are cold in the north. Europa zapadnii rosii means Europe is west of Russia. Rosia stranaya strana ana ine zapad no ine vastak means Russia is a strange country, it's neither the west nor the east. And zapad yist zapad vastak yist vastak i vemeste im ne soitis means o east is east and west is west and never the twain shall meet. It's something that Rudyard Kipling said. The focus words for this lesson include Sverkats, which means to shine, Kladbishi, which means cemetery, Vershina, which means summit, Sklon, which means slope, and Klonitsia, which means to be inclining towards. Ruski Ed, signing off now. Das Vyranya! Ruski Ed is here, and in case it's not completely clear, to learn to read in Russian you must know lots of Russian words and where they